guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, I've just been pulled out of my daily activity to join this one for a blessed ball. Uh, someone's taken my car out again, oh. out of my garage. <laughs> Everybody loved that Ferrari you bought me. They did? Yeah. Should we show them the ocean? We'll take you over to the surf. How does that sound? So what else do you want to tell the vlog? Do you like my new nails? Oh yes, I do actually. Very good. We've had them for a week now and it's not that hard. Even you at the nail salon every day? It's because I used to break <laughs> Do you like my new caps that I did for LMPs? You did not, I did them. Black on black. Yeah, you go black on black. It would be good. I didn't. The credit is out of control in this family. Everybody wants to take credit, but really. He's I like, give credit I when paint. Credit's due, he's and like, it's not due. He's like, I painted the restaurant, I chose the colours. No, you didn't. He's like, I've got a designer. Yeah. Everyone go to Julep's and ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have a YouTube channel? Yeah, is I that do. What it is? That's it. I do, yeah. He doesn't really approve, oh. but it's been 14 years, so. Yeah. That's it, girl. Wow. <laughs> I love the cocoa whip. It's good, huh? I, f I just feel like is it's that less. The or the protein? I just, That's it's mine. Biscoff. I just feel like it's less sugary than the acai. Mine's prettier than yours. That's an original. So that's on the side. Oh, beach? I don't know if I can carry in vlog. Let's go to the surf. Too good. I just want to say this is week two of doing weekly vlogs and I just want to say thank you so much honestly you guys like them um I know it seems weird I just don't like when we do vlogs we do vlogs here and there but weekly is just kind of a different vibe because it's just life like it's just what is happening at this moment you know there's not really necessarily a topic or whatever we're not sort of going luck shopping whatever it's just my life and that's what's happening yeah, that's pretty much it to report I did get asked about these press-ons I have different lengths at the moment how is this little juge number this is a this one's a set that has little diamantes. I mean, what a vibe, right? I'm not as good as people like Sherry. Shout out to Sherry. She does Steph London's nails and they're insane. I want to go over there and meet them together. Hello, London. We decided that I would come over and take them luck shopping. Duh, how awesome would that be to meet Sherry and Steph London? So thankful that you guys like these vlogs. And just what is happening in my crazy day-to-day -day life. Oh my god, this hair is not a vibe. Remind me to book an appointment to get my hair done. Remind me, like as if you guys are going to remind me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you around with me. Gills loves my Tiffany and Co. <laughs> <laughs> They're both taking the piss. <laughs> Jillian is taking a piss. Option one. I just applied for one for you. As long as you're paying for it, no worries. Jillian is looking for a housekeeper for us and making. Hey, 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 hey. Don't. Please. Ew. Lucky. I just did. <laughs> Zaki always says, he didn't kiss me goodbye. To, ew, I'm not putting that on. Zaki goes, he doesn't kiss me. Sure you've got a toasty and a toasty. Yeah, I like it toasted. Oh. Not the best end. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh yeah, I'll show you this. I just <laughs> I just tried it out to this just then. I've said this before in videos, but this is so what I do with this bag. That is my pochette Matisse all over monogram strap. <laughs> And I put it on this bag rather than the black leather straps. I just like the width of it. I don't know why I always put this on it. This and only this. I have my speedy 20 straps and things like that. But I don't put it on it. I just always put the pochette Matisse. Isn't that weird? So I did get some comments. Thank you so much firstly for all the beautiful compliments about my house. It was a year in progress. I did get some comments about this. And, and it was crazy and it looks like a shop. Uh, absolutely. This is the way um, I was raised by Jillian. I think she used to just say things like, it is just as easy to put things in lines as it is to put things everywhere. So you're putting the glass down, however, you can put it down anywhere or you can put it down in a straight line and it just looks obviously so much more presentable and yeah i just think i grew up with lines <laughs> i grew up we will say we grew up with white and lines so yeah i suppose that's why mum always says oh welcome to jerusha's shop but i think you know it's just it's helpful as well when there's so much sort of chaos or clutter outside your life and you know things like the restaurants are so intense or whatever um for will when he comes home it's just orderly oh my baby's choking hang on okay not that i'm gonna argue with you guys about coffee any of the comments that i obviously got on my weekly vlog that I then went and made a coffee with so much milk. Wrong. That is froth. So usually we take the spinner off an espresso. So an espresso milk frothers or heaters, spinners, make the milk. You can have it without the uh, spring so it doesn't make it as frothy. Will doesn't like that. But when I make the kids, when I make Zaki baby chinos, he obviously needs it to be frothy. There is... Maybe, uh, I don't know in ounce, fluid ounces. Um, I don't even know. There is maybe, like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Let me show you by not pouring froth. Okay, there. Looks a little bit cat's piss, but there you go. That is all froth. So there you go. That's how much milk I would put. And then if I wanted, I would just dump the froth on top. So it's like a cappuccino, like that. That's probably a frothy latte, but that's genuinely just what I'll do because I don't want to obviously waste the milk if I've got the wire in it. Ugh. Now we should make a mess. Um, but yeah, everyone's like, oh my God, there was so much milk. No, that is a froth spring and we usually don't have it in. So see, you can see the spring there, the little coil. We usually take it out, but I make the baby, baby chinos, obviously. But no, to correct again, there is not a lot of milk in this. This is what would be called, I suppose, a double riz. Because it's short, it's in a short cup, and it is two shots on low milk. So it's probably a double riz, and I really need coffee this morning. That was bad sleep. So it oh, worked. I know. Hang on one second, Jules. It worked. Then he wanted a nail on it. <laughs> so you guys have seen this before. Kira Sky, the best jelly tips. However, it's a jelly tip system. <laughs> and I can't put a jelly tip on these nails. They need to breathe. So I've been doing press-ons. Julian <laughs> <laughs> thinks it's so funny. Show me how you blow it dry, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> the most masculine man going woke going woke there you go we're teaching Gillian what woke is if you're lefty Willie <laughs> hi Willie just got a new mattress from one of our mates that his was too plush 
house is collapsed. I don't want to right, right. <laughs> so we're testing this out versus ours because ours was like ten thousand dollars. And look, everyone is testing it. Lay straight. Lay straight. Lay straight. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daddy. So go tell me. So I'm listening. When you lay in that bed. Yes. It sinks. The top sinks and it wraps around your body. Yeah. Where this one feels more plush because the foam on top. Doesn't wrap around you, but you just lay more flat. <laughs> Did anyone out there understand that? Mm. So our bed collapsed, and we had it under warranty. And I went through the warranty process, which is why Will said it didn't work. But they tried to fix it; it There's didn't something work. Something called I would have done less for murder. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, cat, stop. So anyway. This is kind of a replacement, but it's not a blackest beauty rest, okay? That's like the Chanel of mattresses. And Will said, it's only because they can charge you more because it's like got metal buttons and things like that. Let me show you it, even though it looks really gross. So here, this is... Oh, oh guys. Oh, my God. Are you on our new bed in Uggs? Get off. Oh, oh. How old are you? Well, Get off my bed in Uggs, you bloody... Oh my God, you're gonna hurt your back. Back, oh my God, you just complained about your back. Anyway, this is a blackest beauty rest. This is what we had and Will said, it's only amazing. Oh, <laughs> It's only amazing because there's all like these studs and everything like that. But it is collapsed. See this when you lay on it. This is softer and it wraps around you. She's a little bit lost. You want to stop and say hi to the vlog? No, hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. No, hi. Hello, everybody. It's been ages. Absolutely ages, isn't it? Last week. <laughs> Oh, that's my like week ages last week. My weekly vlogs. Oh yeah, last week. <laughs> I'm starting weekly vlogs. Up there, look. Body. Oh yeah, it is up there. Do you want to go to Sephora? No. Oh. <laughs> you don't need, oh, don't choke <laughs> me. Wait, everyone wants to see you. Okay, well, anyway, I'm very close. Jules and I have come to the mall. Great, right, that's up. Mum, it's here. Huh? <laughs> Look at her. She's waving at me to just hurry up and come. I have no idea where we're walking. She wants to get a cotton on that's not here. What she does, she just kind of ushers me along. Why are you so speeding along Zaz, Mum? Cotton on is not here. Oh, okay. We've just walked the entire block. Okay, we are sitting down to have some lunch. Just said I seem like a little girl today. I'm always pulling you by the neck. I know you do. And then you have your fingers up because, there you, because you don't come in. There's like a, a mile between our heads. That's close. That one and one in the pouch. Yeesh. Yeesh. It's like... 18 months. Oh, that's what Jan and I are. That's exactly what Do you have like. anything to say to the vlog this week? This oh. is a new weekly vlog. Make sure her hair is right, guys. Try to look at the green dot. That's them, not yourself. Hi, guys. I'm looking at the green dot. Why don't you give them something inspirational? I tell you to do this every well, time. Well, the most inspirational thing is that um, my croquet this week. <laughs> <laughs> the first Not about you. Oh, okay. Now you want to 
tell them something inspirational and <laughs> don't talk about yourself. Oh, it's a new up. weekly vlog. Don't give up. Don't give up, whatever it is. Massey started this morning on page nine of his Lego, which was for an eight year old, and he'd given up several months ago because yeah. it was too hard. Yeah. So he got it out this morning instead of watching the screen and he got to page 64 all on his own. He's so proud. And I just said, Mussy, I am so happy. And he said, Nana, I am so proud of myself. <laughs> so never give up is the message in this weekly vlog. We'll put that in the title. Never give up. So do you, are you picking up what I'm putting down, Jill's? These are weekly yeah, I get vlogs. It, yeah. Okay, every week I am doing a vlog of stuff of the whole week. Yeah, yeah stuff that's happening the whole week. You know, we just got the new mattress. <laughs> that was a funny story. Yeah. Mum couldn't. Mum picks up the phone sometimes and doesn't know what she's gonna hear. No, and I just my life. I don't say anything. I just pick up the phone and then I get the story. <laughs> Like I'm lost in color. Like I call her and I say the nails are gone. <laughs> and then I see the nail on the husband. Did you see the nail? Yeah, I put it on there. Did you guys see that? Yeah, of course. I was doing the press ons as you saw. Not these aren't press ons, but this one's. And Will joined in to test the transfer for me. Which I'll link them below, guys. But they are pretty rubbish. But I'll find some on Amazon that are good. Maybe they'll work for you. They're just not working for me. But then I again, I have. <laughs> I have um, damaged nails. You gotta look out for my juice. He's gonna wave at me. You gotta go. I'll show you the food when it comes. Me and me. Just screaming at me for my juice. Ah! Uh, um, crush. Gold crush. What? <laughs> that is so funny. Double shot of gin. He said. Do you guys like juices? I know there's oh, heaps of fruit. there's heaps of vloggers out there that juice all the time. What's in it? Passion fruit. It's called Gold Crush. Do you want to give it a try for the vlog? It's got pumpkin in it. Not hay cocoa. <laughs> try not to spill it. That's how this that's how this day is going. It's a frappe. Good, refreshing. Oh, very good, obviously. Okay, let's try top juice. Ooh, yum. Some Vietnamese for lunch. Oh my God, look at that one. Yum, so I got the duck stir fry and white rice. And Jillian got the seafood wonton. I think I need new beige solace. Oh, okay, she doesn't care. She's just walked away from me. I heard this was really good. The Le beige in the um, bead. And I've heard this is really good, the blush. Woo, so much. I want it all, all the time. It's ridiculous, actually. Hi. My little baby cousin just came from Summer. Melbourne and her husband Summer. and her little baby Summer say hi. Airplane. Airplane. Well, he loves her. So Jibbles just picked them up from the train. Let's go. Come in the house. Why don't you show her the TV room, Mussy? Baby. Okay. There's a baby in your tummy. Mm -hmm. He's fat. It's and fat? Yeah. How many babies have you put in my tummy? One, two, three, four. Four? Four of them. I want to close it. Okay, I know we're meant to portray perfection, but I have woken up with an eye infection. I have woken up with a really painful eye infection. How did I do it? Let me tell you, and janky fingers. I mean, listen. It's the unlux life of real vlogging, okay? We're real people and that is what we've got to do is show you guys the real side of life because it is exactly like yours. So, how did I do it? 
How did I get this eye infection? I should probably cover it, it's quite ugly. Let me put my glasses on. I DIY'd taking my lashes off at home. And let me tell you this, any of those videos, any of those DIY YouTube videos are crap. Do not watch them, do not listen to them. Never ever put oil, canola oil, coconut oil, any oil, do not put it on your eye. One, two, I didn't do it with coconut oil. I did it with warm water, steam, and I massaged it off with an eye makeup remover. We're talking about a full set. I had got an infill from like a strip mall brow and lash extensions just on a whim because I wanted them done again for a function. It was a mistake because it was really bad um, and it hurt something crazy. So I had to get them off. I didn't have a chance to go to my technician to do it, so I did it. I sat and massaged them off. Perfect, they came off without taking my eyelashes with it. So that worked, that's fine. And it didn't hurt either. However, sitting for three hours massaging your eyes and your eyelashes off, I just watched, you know, whatever, Real Housewives back to back, and I just sat there for three hours massaging, massaging them off when the kids were asleep. Three hours of dirty, you know, just three hours of your fingers in your eyes is gonna give you an eye reaction. It just is. Nobody tells you that in DIY videos. You are gonna wake up with an eye infection because you've just been annoying the crap out of your eye. And with the oil, it would have been 10 times worse because you can't see the whole time. Your poor eye ball would have just been so, anyway. Yesterday was the worst, today is better, but it's really stinging, so I am just gonna pop down to the medical center and get them to probably give me some actual antibiotic eye drops. I've been using the saline drops and it's better, but it hurts, okay? And I wanted to show you the real life. <laughs> Everybody shows perfection, and I wanted to show you the truth, and this is the truth. So we're not gonna to film today, because red eye is not the look. The nail hell is still there and I I just don't do well with little things, like little janky things really tick me off. I can deal with like if I was, God forbid, hurt, like I had a, you know, God forbid, broken arm or finger, but little things like nails not being done, eye infections, it just frustrates me, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, <laughs> first world problems type thing. It's but I want to verbalize them to you guys. Maybe someone out there is the same. It's just a hung nail is just annoying. So not having three nails is frustrating, especially when you know you film and you go in your studio and you're touching these beautiful handbags. You don't want to do it with janky nails, okay? You don't want to do it with janky nails. Okay, don't you love when is anyone else like me, like when you're actually going somewhere fast, this happens right now. I'm like, ah, oh, everything's a clutter. I think I'm going to change out my bag. I've literally got two minutes to get out of here. But I do get asked about the Palm Springs Mini. I know I just showed you strap game just before I told you I put my Porsche Mistress, Patisse, Matisse strap on this. Um, but I do get asked a lot, and I do have both canvases. I never really use my reverse because I just gravitate towards monogram, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's a very quick and easy go kind of bag if that's what you're... Look, I've got my pochette accessory, <laughs> multi-pochette um, little coin purse in here. Um, but it's a very easy go-to uh, bag if that's, you know, what you want. The zipper's easy now. Ooh! And, um, yeah, it's just a quick and easy type of bag, go-to type thing. Um, however, if it's size that you're after, things like this is not a smart option at all. I put my toiletry 15 in there and it's way too square and it just takes up you know, so much of the room in this, in the sense of the shape. Um, so yeah, it's not like 
the best decision to do things like that, like small, thin things really sort of work in these type bags. But yeah, it's definitely a go-to for me. Definitely a go-to. Oh my God, epic. That is, look at this sun. Boof, boof, boof. We're in a, we're in a trance nightclub. Um, yes, what was I saying? In days like this, I've got to cover it. In days like this where I struggle, I have a secret, <laughs> a secret drink I like to get. And no, it's not a ice caramel frappe chino double shot no coffee latte sorry <laughs> i cop shit for that i did i did i cop shit in the comments the answer to the comments is that it wasn't shaming it wasn't dragging i know some people said that it was my opinion and i stated that so clearly before i said it I said, this is my opinion. And guess what? You're allowed to have opinions in life and you're allowed to state them out loud as well. It was not harming anybody. It was just my opinion. I was not shaming anybody. People went in. People are so sensitive. So you can go in on me for this. These are the little Coke shots. I only drink Coke Classic. I never drink Diet Coke or Coke No Sugar because... The chemicals in Coke alone and the sugar in Coke alone are bad enough, okay? Diet is just Spirella. It's it's horrible as well. So if you're going to drink chemicals like Coke, just grit, drink Coke and take the, take the fall of the sugar. That's what I say. There you go. That's my opinion. I'm not shaming anyone who drinks Diet Coke. It is my biggest vice and the only time I really... I suppose gained weight. For, I haven't really even gained weight from drinking Coke. It's just not good for, you know, having a brain injury like me or having any of the issues like me. It's it's not good. The chemicals in it and the amount of sugar is just not good. Hey, anyway, it's my vice. If I kind of want to just get through the day and I'm struggling like today, listen, do you boo, do you I love it. I love the vlogging life. I'm so glad you like guys like these back into these again. You're saying you really love vlogs because it's the real, it's the real deal. You know, it's all great to sit down in a sit down video and make it look perfect. And some people love that and that's fine because it's so informative or whatever. But I feel like weekly vlogs, daily vlogs is just so good because you just see what's the grind for us and go, oh, okay, <laughs> they have a life too. <laughs> their mums too and things like that so yeah I'm really glad you guys are liking these um I will finish off this vlog here because yeah I was gonna have a coffee with Will and show you however he's not coming and I've got to pop into the doctor to fix this eye hopefully the next time I pick up the camera we won't have pink eye we won't have an eye infection but listen, if you're going to take off your eyelash extensions, trust me, just go back to your technician and get them to do it properly. Don't try and DIY, guys. That was the biggest mistake. I'm going to have to wait so long. I'm probably not going to put lash extensions back on. I think I'm done with lash extensions because this is brutal. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. I hope everybody's doing well. I'll see you in my next weekly vlog. Take care. Peace. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.